Hello everyone. Welcome back to VoIP Knowledge. Today we have Grandstream SIP speakers and I will show you products features with configuration part. So Grandstream has four models. First one is GSC 3506 with one-way communication. Second is GSC 3516 with two-way communication. Third is GSC 3510 also a two-way speaker and last one is GSC 3505. It's a one-way speaker. So first I will explain GSC 3506 features then web interface configuration. The speaker is powered up via PoE and does not have power adapter option. The speaker has USB option to store music files. Sense input is normally open output from fire alarm system. Alarm input is voltage input ranging between 12 to 24 volt. These inputs can be used to trigger the SIP call or play music on speaker. The GSC 3506 is a one-way public address SIP speaker that allows offices, schools, hospitals, apartments and more to build powerful public address announcement solutions that expand security and communication. This robust SIP speaker offers crystal clear HD audio functionality with a high fidelity 30 watt HD speaker. Speaker with HD Acoustic Chamber Features SIP paging, multicast paging, call waiting with priority override Full band and wideband audio codec support including Opus and G.722 1x2 pin switch in input port 1x alarm in input port Volume plus slash key, reset 1x network port 1x USB port 110 one hundredths of a megabit per second network port with PoE slash PoE plus. The GSC 3506 support built-in whitelists, blacklists, and graylists to easily block unwanted calls, SIP and multicast paging, group paging, and PTT. The users can easily sculpt a state-of-the-art security and PA announcement solution. Now continue with the web interface configuration of speaker. The default login name is admin and the default password is mentioned on the device. So after login you need to modify the password. All the speakers are having 16 SIP accounts and the device details can be found under system info. Now we will register the device with the PBX extension. Fill up the required details then click save and apply. Post then you can check the registration status on PBX sand. In the speaker, we can whitelist, blacklist, and graylist, so we will set graylist to auto answer. We can adjust the speaker volume for call. Now, quickly make an incoming call to the speaker, and you can see the call is auto answer. You can check the outgoing calls, call history and you can also add contacts for multi-purposes. You can set the speaker mode to large room or small room. You can adjust volume settings, sensor settings, and alarm in settings. You can configure music settings like RTSP stream, local music, and online music with scheduling option. I have already created a video on these settings and video is available on my channel. Playback Cascade is new feature in which you can add speakers in master and slave architecture. Under the diagnosis option, you can test speaker quality on various factors as listed under Diagnosis. 